Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Craig Phillips, CEO of Quality Water Treatment, also known as Craig the Water Guy. Hope you guys are doing well today, and thank you for visiting us here at qualitywatertreatment.com. Uh, if you're visiting this page, it means you're on your own private well, and you're looking to get the proper water treatment equipment to uh, clean up your water for you and your family. I'm here to help you. Uh, Quality Water Treatment has been in business since 1990. Uh, I have over 33, 34 years of experience in the water treatment industry, and the majority of that is, uh, is sizing, uh, installing, and engineering uh, water treatment equipment uh, for well water and surface water applications. Uh, it's not as easy as uh, figuring out what you need when you're on regular city water municipal supply. There's a little bit more to it. So I want to take some time in this video to go over that with you so you can make sure that you're uh, choosing the right equipment uh, for your application as well as the proper size uh, filter system for your application. So uh, let's go over the different packages with you as well as uh, how you go about figuring out what size you need. Okay, so we're going to start off with our FLEC. 2510 SXT well water basic, which is a water softener. But we're, what we've done here is we've used a gravel underbed uh, with a 5S resin for well water. 5S resin uh, has more surface area than your standard resins, and so it's able to remove more iron and doesn't foul out as easily as your standard mesh uh, uh, resins out there. Okay. It'll remove up to three parts per million of what we call clear water iron. Uh, you know, some guys will claim that their water softeners using 5S will remove up to five parts per million. And yes, I have seen systems out there do that under perfect circumstances. But the rule of thumb is just three parts per million. Anything over above that, you really want to use an iron filter uh, along with your water softener. Okay. When I say ferrous iron, which is also known as clear water iron, Basically, what that means is if you fill up a, a glass of water or a bucket, if the water is clear, uh, and then as you let it sit, it gradually turns brown. But if it's not brown right off the bat, the water is clear. That means you have clear water iron, ferrous iron. And so you're okay with removing that with a water softener. If the water is brown, discolored right off the bat, that means you have some uh, ferric iron, red water iron in the water. And yes, you can remove it with a water softener, but be prepared to have a lot of maintenance issues with your resin bed and uh, your control valve if you do it that way. Okay, just a word of caution for you. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there, uh, not just on the internet, but local viewers as well that will tell you things that uh, not necessarily on purpose, but they just don't know. Okay, and I'm here to tell you that. You just want to be careful of that, and that's the reason why I'm explaining it to you now so you don't make that mistake and be surprised later on down the road. Okay, so now let's go to the Flex 2510 control valve. The Flex 2510 SXT control valve, digital control valve, uh, the Flex 2510 in general has been around for 50 plus years. Uh, it used to be the call the 2500, now it's the 2510. Uh, what they've done here uh, is that the back plating behind this cover here is a weather, uh, all weather cover is a steel back plate instead of your plastic back plating. And it has what we call a heavy duty Merkle dry motor that's attached directly to uh, the horizontal pistons. Instead of vertical, they're horizontal. So what you got going on here is when the system goes to regenerate itself, that vertical dry motor pushes those pistons in and out instead of up and down. Most water softeners only have a timer motor that operates everything. So it has to turn a series of gears to move the pistons up and down, which is can be a weak breaking point over a period of years. Uh, because if, when you're on well and you have iron and stuff in the water, it can jam up those pistons. This system, this system set up the way it is with the vertical dry motor with the direct piston drive eliminates the gear movement so you eliminate those issues. And being you have the steel back plate with steel brackets to support all of that, uh, it makes the system uh, very durable. Okay. It is a three quarter inch valve, not like our soft pro one inch valve, so you don't get quite as high as flow rates through it. It doesn't have the soft water bride refill, so when the system regenerates, it does put dirty water in the bride tank, folks. It does not put clean soft water. So there is 
the disadvantage of that system over our software system that you probably see it on our website on our well water page. Uh, so the advantage of this 2510 flex over the software is because it doesn't have any gear movement. It is a direct drive piston with the uh, with the uh, with the steel back plate, uh, and uh, it, that's really about it. It doesn't have the like I said the soft water drive refill, so your injectors and stuff can get plugged easily easier, and you are brighting your water with dirty water instead of clean water. It's a three quarter inch valve instead of one inch, so your flow rates are a little lower. The warranty is not quite as good on the flex. The manufacturer flex warranty is five years on the control valve. The soft curl is seven years. The manufacturer tank warranties on these are 10 years and the soft curl is lifetime. So those are the differences, folks. They're both excellent systems. It really depends on what you're looking for, what you like. I've been using both systems for years. Of course, I've been using the 2510 longer because it's been around forever. Kind of like me. <laughs> so, uh, the next system that you're going to go with is the uh, 2510 well water KDF uh, filter system. So the reason why you would go with this system, and let's say you have some uh, water, hard water issues, you may or may not have iron. It doesn't really matter at this point as long as it's not more than three parts per million. Okay. Um, but if you have sulfur in the water, like a rotten egg odor, now the best way to test your water to see if the rotten egg odor is being derived from uh, bacteria like sulfur bacteria or if it's actually just sulfur gas is to fill up a container like a glass or a bucket or something like that and go ahead and smell it it smells like rotten eggs right uh, let it sit open for about five ten minutes and come back and smell it again if the odor is gone then you know it's sulfur gas now if that is the case then you can go with this system this system will remove up to two parts per million of sulfur it'll remove up to three parts per million of iron as well as your hard water issues. And uh, the way it works is that it runs down through this KDF-85 filter. The KDF-85 filter removed up to two parts of the sulfur, which is a lot, folks. Most people do not have that much sulfur. It's very rare. Uh, so it also helps remove some iron. Uh, it removes other heavy metals, such as lead, copper, zinc, uh, cadmium, stuff like that. But uh, one of the other major benefits to it is that it's bacterial static. One of the main issues people have on well water is to have iron bacteria. Now, iron bacteria is not harmful to you, but it does wreak havoc with the water treatment systems. It uh, can plug up the media, the resident inside, and plug up your injectors, and basically deplete the life of the system, as well as cause you know, issues with your plumbing and stuff like that if it's a really high bacterial, iron bacterial issue. So this will not let it, that iron bacteria grow within the system, which keeps everything a lot cleaner and makes it last longer. Okay, so that is uh, this system. It's the softer uh, setup, just like the first one I told you about. Same benefits, same features, same warranties, but it has the media guard KDF-85 at the side of it. Uh, one common question we get for folks is how long does the KDF-85 last? Uh, you know, it backwashes every time the softer backwashes to help keep it clean. We have customers out there that have the same KDF-85 for over 12 years, so we can say it does last that long. We have other customers who had to replace it after three or four years. It really depends on your application on how much water you're using and how bad your water actually is. To replace it, it's real simple. You just unscrew the control valve from the tank. As you pull the control valve up, the KDF filter will come out with it. You unstap it, and then they put a new one in, and you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, the next system is our well water iron filter system. Now, what we've done here is uh, we've uh, coupled together a uh, what we call a catalog filter. We call it AIO, air injection optimization. Same 2510 valve, same features as the softer, same warranty and all that. Okay. What happens is when the system goes into regeneration, one of the things it does is a bright draw where it sucks air through the soft side of the control valve. And that creates an air pocket in the tank. So when you go to use water, it hits that air first, and that oxidizes iron, sulfur, and manganese, so it can be readily removed by the catalogs media inside the tank. Now, catalogs, folks, is going to be the best iron, remo iron sulfur, manganese removal media on the market. It actually has a real high oxidizing uh, ability in itself to oxidize the iron, manganese, and sulfur to give it even uh, better removable of those particular contaminants. So that coupled with the air makes the system an ultimate system. It will actually remove up to 30 parts per million iron. 
up to three parts per billion of manganese and up to five parts per billion of uh, sulfur. So it will do a really good job. Once it runs through that, it goes through your sulfur. And then uh, that removes any, uh, any bleed through of iron and manganese uh, from the water. And then it also removes the hardness minerals as well that it goes into your house. Okay, so that's that system there. Uh, well water with, uh, with a pH neutralizer. Now, uh, let's say you have some iron or you don't have iron, but you have a low pH, okay? So what you're going to do here is you're going to run through the 2510 SXT digital uh, control valve. It's going to go through your pH neutralizer. We use a media called calcite limestone. So you got gravel at the bottom and then the rest of the tank, uh, three quarters of the way up or so is calcite limestone. Calcite limestone is a naturally built limestone that is washed for the specific use of water treatment. And if your pH balance is below seven, that means it's acidic. It means it's corrosive. It means it's going to eat up anything that's metal that it touches. Copper pipes, galvanized pipes, hot water heaters, any faucets, connections, anything that's metal, it will eat it up. If you get blue or green stain on fixtures inside your house and your copper plumbing, that blue or green stain is from your copper pipe bleeding out. Pretty soon they will get fed and start leaking. Uh, if you don't have any iron stains outside of the house, where you have maybe PVC plumbing, but you have iron stains inside the house, you have galvanized plumbing, that's from your galvanized pipe being leached. The iron is leaching out from those galvanized pipes and creating stains in your home. So those are all true signs that you have a low pH. So this will dissolve into the water as you use water immediately until the pH reaches about 7.0 to 7.1, which is neutral. Eliminate all those issues that I just mentioned. It's also going to raise your hardness. So if your water is only three to five grains hard, but you have a really low pH, which is a pretty typical scenario because that's why your pH is low because it's lacking mineral, uh, calcium, and magnesium. Uh, what's going to happen is that this is going to raise that hardness up about three grains per gallon, maybe a little bit more depending on where your pH range is. The lower the pH, the more it has to dissolve and the higher the hardness goes. The rule of thumb is three to five grains. Uh, so when you size your water softener on your calculator that we use on our website, add three to be on the safe side, just add five grains to whatever the count, whatever your hardness is. So if your water hardness testing, before your treatment system is five grades per gallon, add five to that when you use the sizing calculator and it'll size the system based on you having a neutralizer in the ratio pH, okay? At that point, it runs through the software, again, the same software we went over earlier, and then uh, into your home, okay? Now, uh, if you have all the issues, uh, you're lucky enough to have all these issues, you have a low pH, uh, you have high iron, you know, you have high, high or high manganese or high sulfur or all of it in general. What you're going to do is you're going to run through the pH neutralizer first that we just went over the ratio pH, which it also has some iron removal capabilities. And then you're going to run through your Catalox iron filter using the air injection to remove uh, the majority of, if not all of your iron and manganese and sulfur. And then you're going to run through the softener to remove any excess iron and manganese as well as the hardness minerals in your set. So now, here's the trick to sizing a well water system. Uh, if you need more than just a water softener, if you need the iron filter or the calcite filter or all three, the iron filter, calcite filter, and softener, okay? When it comes to filters like calcite filters and iron filters, the media inside those tanks is heavy. It is on all of them. It doesn't matter which one you look at. They're all heavy. They're all bulky and heavy. So you need to size the filter systems based on what your well pump is capable of giving you gallons per minute. Not your well, but your well pump. If you don't do that and you put a system in there and your well pump is not capable of backwashing, meaning it lifts the media up when it backwashes and cleans up all the gunk and just flushes it out the drain. If you don't have a well pump, if you sized it too large and your well pump's not capable of doing that, you're going to have a problem. Your system's not going to work. It'll work for maybe, you know, the first couple of weeks, and after that, you're in trouble, okay? So this is really important, folks, okay? I can't stress this enough. What you want to do, and this is very simple, I put this together for you, okay? Based on all my years of experience, this is what I do when I go out to get a job, is I check the well pump production rate, okay? 
So what you want to do, if you don't know what your well pump will do, or if you just want to double check to make sure the information you have is correct, because it can change over the years, uh, go ahead and click on this link here where it says My Well Pump Flow Rate. Okay. And that will take you to a page that will walk you through all you need is a five gallon bucket and something to count the seconds as you're filling it. And just follow the instructions thoroughly. Once you've done that, you've got a chart here, calculates everything for you. So let's say you did it, you filled up the bucket uh, within 51 to 60 seconds. Okay. You go right back over here and you go, okay, well, based on everything that Craig just told us, we need the catalog iron filter and the softer. So we need the, uh, the 2510 well water with iron filter package, which is this package right here. Okay. Uh, based on my tests, uh, you know, I can, um, I can't back water them because I'm only getting five gallons per minute. Okay. So at that point, what you want to do is you want to give us a call at 866-278-4130. We'll go over some different options with you to see what we can figure out for you. Okay. We're here to help you. Uh, let's say that your well pump is doing, uh, fill your, your five gallon bucket is filling up between 38 and 42 seconds. You have seven gallons per minute at your well pump. Okay. At that point, you're going, okay, well, I know I need the iron filter and I need, I need the 2510 well water iron filter package. Or even, just throw this out here, I need the well water pH neutralizer or I need the ultimate package, okay? The well water iron filter and pH neutralizer. My well pump is seven gallons per minute, okay? I click on this link right here, seven gallons per minute. And you see how the price has changed here to $1,501 in this particular scenario, okay? so. That is the proper size package for you. That is a package that the proper size system so you can backwash them properly. If you have, uh, if you have eight to 10 gallons per minute available to you and you want to go with a larger system, you don't need to. You can stick with this one. But if you want to go larger because you want a little higher flow rates in the home or you just want more surface area for better filtration, whatever your reasons are, you're more than able to do that by going, let's say you have 8 to 10, you can click on the 8 to 10 and see how that changes right there. Okay, so that's the proper system for that and so forth. If you have 11 gallons per minute plus, you don't have to go with a system that large. You can go with any of these, but you have the ability to go up to that size. Okay, so anyway, if you have any questions, you can call us at 866-278-1130. Or you can visit our website at qualitywatertreatment.com. Uh, you can use our live chat or go to our contact page and email us. We also have text as well. So you can also text us at 866-278-4130. And we have, uh, we have live uh, technicians that are very well trained uh, to go over everything you need with you. And they will check with me if there's any additional questions that they can't answer. Thank you very much and have a great day.